to me, the most interesting version is the Dead Sea Scrolls. Sure. Did you ever read any of that stuff, like the John Marco Allegro stuff? Mm -mm. <clears throat> John Marco Allegro was a scholar who was also, um, he was an agnostic, he was agnostic, but he was an ordained minister. So he became an ordained minister and then he started studying theology and eventually became agnostic, but he was a language expert. And so he was hired to decipher the Dead Sea Scrolls. So they did it for 14 years, he deciphered these things. They're putting together these, they had to use DNA because they had to make sure that the, the cow, the fragments were from the same cow, which would indicate that it was the same piece of skin. Okay. Because it's literally on animal skins. They, they right, found right, them right. in these these ceramic vessels in Qumran hidden in the fucking the side of a mountain wild shit so they take these down they cool. they realize this is the oldest version of the bible by far and it's the i think it's in aramaic it's one of the only ones in aramaic and at the end of this translation over 14 years john marco allegro writes a book called the sacred mushroom in the cross and he says the entire religion was a misunderstanding and what it was originally about was psychedelic mushrooms and fertility rituals and that that's what created this religion. These people were taking mushrooms and they were experiencing God and they were having fertility rituals because they were trying to be as bountiful and have as many babies as possible. And that's what the Bible was originally all about. Now, by the way, it's heavily disputed. A lot of people don't agree with them. A lot of people think it's blasphemy mm -hmm. and it's this and it's that. But the, the fact remains that this guy was a legit scholar, rock solid credentials, not a drug addict, not a, not, mm -hmm. a, not a guy who even did psychedelics. But it was his interpretation after all this time that these, a lot of the things in the story had meanings that would go back to psychedelic mushrooms. And one of them was the word Christ. He said you could tra 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 trace the word Christ back to an ancient Sumerian word that meant a mushroom covered in God's semen. What? They thought that when it, when it rained, it was the Lord putting semen on the earth. And that's why things would grow from the rain. And one of the things that would grow is these mushrooms, like overnight. So overnight, they'd find these psilocybin mushrooms and these Amanita muscaria mushrooms, like on cow shit. And they'd pick them up and they'd eat them and they'd trip balls. And so it, they wanted to protect that and hide that from intruders, and they hid it in stories and allegories. And this was his assertion. Well, that's the thing, too. Like, first of all, that's amazing. Wild, it's right? Wild, yeah. But like this, like, when do we have the opportunity to record something? Like, this is all hammy. These are stories. These are stories after story and allegory, and like, it's really. I mean, it's amazing how we can marry ourselves to these ideas and concepts, and and like and I and I have mine. I really do uh, that are real for me in in thought and spirit and intention. And but like, I mean, we people have decimated other countries over this these allegories and these stories. Sure, you know? like it's, yeah, they've crushed like, nations, and killed <laughs> innocents, and, and we're probably doing it right now. It's you know? a it's a real it's a it's amazing how it the scales have tipped between like you know your ideologies that become religions and and the way that we um, attack and and defend and like I I don't know I don't know what to do out there you know but the stuff we're talking about um, and even in just like as an idea is fascinating and I loved I love to explore it like why, why not explore the idea of Christ being a mushroom <laughs> it might really be it might really be because but, if you think about like some of the the teachings of Christ they 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 really like align with like psychedelic mindset that treating each sure. other like we're all the same yeah that we're all one no I felt that oneness before that yeah. that feeling that that thing that that God place, like a hundred percent, hundred percent, and I have my interpretation of it, and so does so many people. Yeah, it's, so many people do. It's kind of like, do you want to write a book about it called The Secret, or do you want to, <laughs> do you want you want to just like, live your life, yeah. live your life the right way? Yeah, and just try be cool, to, man. yeah, try to be cool, man. Be cool. Jesus, just be cool. <laughs> <laughs> so cool. Yeah. <laughs> But it's oh. like that's what we're all doing, right? We're all just trying to figure out how to live life better. And when something comes along that seems to be like a method that other people are using, whether it's a religion or whether it's being a Democrat, <laughs> whatever it is that like gets you thinking that you're on the right side of things mm -hmm. and you're with a good community and you support, you know, you get into it. Like we have problems in adopting patterns of thinking and behavior and being tribal. 
and and fucking being right. against other people that we dis- determined to be uh, of a differing ideology mm-hmm. and we would justify like horrible behavior in the name of doing that i don't know if that's our fault necessarily like i think the influence of of technology or other machines that we don't really know about yet like that pit us against each other we used to be able to coexist with different ideas and religions and opinions but now it's like it it is it is so polarized and it, and it's like life or death there is a lot of polarization and you're right there are a lot of foreign factors like there's a lot of governments that are dedicated to fucking with people online and getting mm-hmm. people to fight with each other that's real mm-hmm. i mean that is a hundred percent real thing that seems like it shouldn't be real it seems like espionage cyber espionage like some kind of crazy like diversion of the attention of of people but it's real they really are doing it and whether it has a one percent effect on people or a ten percent effect on people whatever the effect it has an effect and you got to be aware of it but i think that's one of those things that we're going to work through we're gonna we're gonna be have to be more sophisticated about what we, what we absorb, and it's gonna in ultimately it's gonna be like a cyber winter. We're gonna have to go through a cyber winter, develop t- some thick skin, and maybe that's Get what kids right boots. kids are going through. They're going through cyber winter. Like I wouldn't want them to go through winter. I never went through winter. My poor children have to shovel snow. But maybe that's what they have to do. They have to shovel cyber snow. All wheel drive. Yeah, upstairs. all wheel drive with your mind. Get, free yourself from it. And maybe it's our job as people that have lived in both realms. You know, you and I both grew up with no internet, and then all of a sudden there was an internet when we became adults. And we kind of grew up with it along the way. It absorbs and becomes a part of your life. And but we know both worlds. They're not going to know both worlds. Yeah, they, I feel they fortunate. Will never to have that. Mm. They never understand. They will never understand our version of the world. Just like we'll never understand the people that came over on a fucking horse pulled buggy, a wagon with your family, your babies on a wagon, mm-hmm. and there's a dusty road, and there's like seven or eight other people like you ahead of you. And like 20 things that are going to kill you in the next and day. And then you see Indians. <laughs> and you're like, well, we're going to be one of those stories. We're not going to make it. I love Deadwood. <sighs> what a show. The American West, like, think about how fascinated people were with, like, the settling of the American West. And that's only, like, a couple of hundred years. It's yeah. not a long time in human history, but it's so iconic oh in our God. understanding of what happened to America. 